For the past month, I've been testing to see if loading with sodium bicarbonate will improve my performance in workouts, and today the results are in. So I'm just gonna get straight into the numbers, and then afterwards, obviously, we'll try and draw some conclusions from what I've learnt, and I'll discuss exactly how I loaded with the sodium bicarb and general other stuff. So the first session was one at 5K power, the first time I did this session was without sodium bicarbonate and it felt really good. I was really happy with how the session went. I felt strong. I hit my targets. It felt about the right effort. So I managed 361 watts across all the reps, which were uh, four by three minutes. So I did four by three minutes at 5k power. So 12 minutes at 5k intensity. So I should say with all of these sessions, the first one was always without sodium bicarb and the second one was always with, and the second session always occurred exactly two weeks after the first one. It was always on the same day, the same time, well, the same day of the week, the same time of day. I was wearing the same shoes, the same track, the same clothes. I fueled in the same way. So I tried to minimize as many variables as I could so that we can try and hone in on whether or not this sodium bicarb makes a difference. So for this 5K session, the second one where I did load with the sodium bicarb, you can see there was a slight average power increase, but a big jump in the duration. So I spent 15 minutes as opposed to 12 minutes at that 5K intensity. Well, that's the workout done, and it felt really good. But to be fair, the last one felt really good as well. The one I did with no sodium bicarbonate. But of course, that one, I did the extra rep. And the last rep, I actually averaged the highest power. I haven't looked at the numbers yet, but that session definitely felt better than the last one. And the last one felt good. Was that down to the sodium bicarbonate? Who knows? That's why it's good I'm doing a few sessions, because it may just be that I expect to do better, so maybe psychologically I was more primed just to perform better. So there are a whole range of factors, but for a first session, yeah, that felt good. The next one was a threshold session. The first one without the sodium bicarb was three by eight minutes 40, and I was in struggle town for that one. It was really hard, so much so that on that last rep, I missed my target power by quite a lot. I was aiming for about 341 watts and could only manage 325. So fell significantly short on that last rep and it, it wasn't at threshold. It, it was pretty much all out at the end. So yeah, that was horrible. So because of that, I decided not to advance the time, um, the duration at threshold on the next session. So I kept it three by eight minutes 40 but it felt so much better. So when I loaded with sodium bicarb, you can see there on the numbers, I averaged 341 watts, which is bang on. And so the same time, and again, that last rep was actually my strongest rep. I, I had the highest average power for that last rep, which says a lot. Well, that's the session done. And once again, it went really well. It felt so much better than last time. So, so far we're two for two. Both workouts with sodium bicarbonate have been noticeably better than the same workouts without. So one thing that these numbers can't tell the full story on is how it felt. It felt so much easier loading with the sodium bicarb. Same with that 5K session. Both times they felt a lot easier with the sodium bicarb. Now, of course, there might be a placebo effect there, but you know what? It's reflected in the numbers as well. So I noticed a big difference in that one. So 1.79% power increase, really good. Well, it's time to do the fartlek session, but the sodium bicarb loading was a little different this morning. I'd run out of the sodium bicarb capsules that I've been using. So there's only one place in Perth that sells them and they'd all sold out. So I think obviously what happened is because my YouTube channel is so massive, as soon as I mentioned it on the channel, all of Australia just rushed to go and buy it. I think that's the only logical explanation. Um, so this morning I had what was left of the capsules, but then just had straight sodium bicarb or baking soda in water. And it wasn't as bad as I thought. It was pretty gross, but I was only having half strength because I had about half my loading dose left in the capsules. Um, yeah, so gram for gram, I consumed exactly the same. 
but it was good to know like it is manageable just having sodium bicarb dissolved in water not ideal it was pretty gross but there we go now i was looking forward to this one because apparently sodium bicarb has the biggest effect at that anaerobic intensity and this is the only session I did that was at that anaerobic intensity. So I thought, if it's going to make a difference, I'm going to see it here. And it did. <laughs> I noticed a big difference in this one. Well, that's the workout done. And oh my goodness, that felt sensational. So good, in fact, that I added another rep. It just felt too easy. Um, so going into these workouts, I haven't mentioned before that I don't look at how I did on the previous session. Obviously, I remember the general feel, but I deliberately don't look at the numbers just so I'm not trying to beat the last one, if you know what I mean. So I just try and run to the same effort. Um, yeah, so I can't actually say numbers-wise how it compared to last time, but I would be very surprised if that wasn't significantly faster than the last one with no sodium bicarb. And even, you know, so I added an extra rep, but also that last rep, I think was a lot quicker. Um, so yeah, felt really strong. And I don't know, yes, there are lots of factors that could be at play. I'm probably more recovered after the marathon. I've clawed back some fitness, all these variables, but I'll tell you, that is such a difference between the workouts. And it's three for three so far. But at this stage, it's looking really promising, hey? The first time I did the session without the sodium bicarb, it still felt really good. Really enjoyed the session, it was lots of fun. Nailed my targets, it was really good. So I averaged 395 watts in that first one uh, for a total of eight minutes at that intensity. But the second time, I averaged 399 watts and again, added another rep just because it felt so easy. So there was a 12.5% increase in duration at intensity for a 1% power increase, which doesn't sound like a lot, but again, it felt so much easier. And the numbers do tell a bit of a story here. If you look at that last rep, I averaged 427 watts for that last rep, which is a lot higher than all of the others. So I was feeling really strong at the end was nowhere near flat out, had plenty more to give. So I can tell you, I noticed a big difference in this one. Oh, and by the way, looking at the paces there, don't worry too much about them. The wind was crazy on some of these sessions. Doing the same workouts, but out again. So that's why it's really good running with power because it doesn't really matter what the weather's like. You look at your power and you're gonna be able to have a much better idea. Um, well, you're gonna be able to compare sessions a lot better because, yeah there's not so dependent on on the weather so final session in this little experiment today five by five minutes at 10k effort is the plan last time i did this session without the sodium bicarb i found it really hard i did four by five and a half minutes last time this time I'm doing five by five so last time i really struggled on that last rep i got it done but i think i missed my power target by a little bit so we'll see how we go on this one the second one felt way better. And again, the numbers reflect that. So I increased the duration. There was a 13.64% increase in duration, 1.73% increase in power, which is pretty big. And once again, that last rep is the strongest. Well, I'm genuinely shocked by how well that went. I was feeling so tired coming into today. I'd had two terrible nights sleep in a row and muscles were feeling really fatigued from the weight session um, on Tuesday. But again, just smashed that out the park. First four reps were so smooth and consistent. And again, I haven't looked at the numbers, but that last rep, pretty sure it was a lot faster. Um, so yeah, I did more volume that session, higher power, I suspect. And again, just by feel, um, just felt so much better. So that's four for four. So I performed better in every single workout where I loaded with sodium bicarb compared to when I didn't. The numbers were better, it felt better. Is that the end of the story? Not quite. There are two, I think, pretty, what could be pretty significant factors that are possibly affecting the results. And the first one is my recovery after the marathon. 
I did this experiment in the in-between time between marathon blocks. And even though I allowed about five and a half weeks after the marathon before I started this experiment, in hindsight, I wonder if I still actually wasn't fully recovered. So the marathon that I ran in October, I went really deep into the well. I was in a bad way after that, after that marathon. It, it, was, it was epic. So even though five and a half weeks sounds like enough time to be recovered, I wonder if I wasn't fully recovered. So that could have been at play. But even though I would have expected things to kind of even out towards the end. So right, I, I actually did the last session today and we're about nine weeks after the marathon now. So I'm definitely fully recovered now. But even on this last session, there's still a pretty big difference between the session today I did loading with sodium bicarb and the previous one, which was only two weeks ago, so about seven weeks after the marathon. So there's still a big difference between sessions. So again, but th that is a possibility. So it's possible I wasn't fully recovered. And of course, also, it's possible that I'm just gaining fitness. <laughs> so after this marathon recovery block, obviously, detraining had set in. So definitely lost some fitness. And it probably comes back pretty quickly once you get back into it. So that could be another significant factor that I might just be quickly getting back to where I was. Who knows? But at some point, you have to say, yes, there are all these variables. But firstly, all of the research says that, yes, this stuff really works. And the difference it makes is actually pretty big. Secondly, every single session saw pretty significant improvements. So Again, even though some of the power increases don't seem enormous, you know, most of them are between 1% and 2%, almost all of the workouts I increase the duration. And what I can't, I guess, convey through numbers alone is how it felt. I know that the second session, in every single session, felt a lot easier when I loaded with sodium bicarb. So at some point you have to say, okay, it looks like this is making a difference. So will I continue to use it going forwards? I actually think I will. I was expecting to not see much of a difference in between sessions with this, especially as a marathoner where most of my sessions are well below the intensity where sodium bicarb is supposed to make a difference. But experiencing what I've experienced, and again, not just looking at the numbers, going off how it felt, it, it makes a difference. And the reason I would consider using that in training is because if I'm, if I'm performing, you know, one to 2% better in every workout and it's feeling better, I'm going to recover faster and then probably hit the next workout even harder. And so it just seems to me like it's going to compound and compound. And at the end of this next marathon block, I'm pretty sure that I would gain extra fitness if I load all these hard sessions sodium bicarb before so i'm going to try it and of course i'll test i'll do some more testing without the sodium bicarb going forward as well because well for those reasons that i mentioned um, now that i'm fully recovered and i probably won't be gaining fitness as fast so it's going to be good to basically run the same test again further down the track away from that um, marathon race so if you're interested in all the details of how i loaded with the sodium bicarb Watch my other video where I went through it in more detail. But the gist of it is I loaded with 23 grams of sodium bicarb and I started loading two and a half hours before the workout and I loaded over the course of an hour and I did it with 100 grams of carbs total. So not all at once. Again, it was over that hour. So I got those carbs through drink mixes um, and a banana or two. So yeah, I kind of spaced it evenly over the hour. Over the hour. In terms of side effects, I did notice some, but they, they weren't bad at all. Um, I did need to go to the toilet more often, so I would normally go once before a session, but when I loaded with a sodium bicarb, I went three times. Um, but it wasn't like a messy explosion or anything, I just needed to go more often. So it didn't interfere with the workout at all. I could only really see it being an issue if I don't know, maybe I had to leave the house a long time before the race and so there wasn't time. I don't know. But for the workouts, it was absolutely fine. I, I got up, I started loading, and by the time I was ready to go, you know, it, it was fine. In terms of the experience of loading itself, 
I started loading with the capsules. That's obviously very easy. You're just popping pills. Um, but going forward, I'm, I'm not going to get the capsules again. I'm quite glad they were sold out because I found loading with just baking soda was fine, actually. If you're having it in just water, then I could see that being almost unbearably disgusting. But I dissolved it in my carb mix, which I also had. And I also mixed in the collagen powder that I have every morning, which has got quite a strong flavor. It's a, like an apple and blackcurrant flavor. And so it was fine, actually. Um, it's a lot cheaper doing it that way. So that's how I'm going to do it going forward. Well, this has been fun, and I'm definitely going to check back in during the next marathon block, which starts in two weeks, by the way. So hopefully you join me for that one. So I'll check back in to see if I still feel it's making an improvement. But as I say, at this stage, I've definitely seen enough to say it's at least very possible, if not likely, that this stuff is really helping. So I'm going to continue with it. I'll let you know how it goes. I'll see you in the next one.